Alright, um, this video is dedicated to the Lonely Dino from Dave Need Art, link in the description. And I'll be showing you how to um, trace uh, your uh, drawings in GIMP. So first off, um, you know, get your sketch. Um, now you could either, uh, the best thing to do is uh, scan it and uh, paste it on your computer, of course. Um, if you don't have a scanner, you could just take a picture of it and put that on your PC. Alright, um, so here's an example of uh, the drawing I just showed you with the scanner. And then after it's done, it should look like that with all the coloring and the signature, of course. Um, so, yeah. What you kind of want to do now uh, is look for the um, your sketch, basically. Um, where is it? Over here. Um, then you want to look down here to see how big it is. So, I, here it's 1500 by 2338. Um, so, in GIMP, you'll go to File, New. And basically input the size like that. All right. Now we want to go to File, Open as Layers, and then look for your sketch, uh, wherever it might be. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, now with this, um, you want to pick the zooming tool and zoom in on the part you want. I'm going to start with the face. Um, now you want to go uh, get the pencil tool and determine what size you want to use. Now I, should, I usually start out with 4 kind of draw a line next to it it kind of looks too thick to me just press ctrl z a bunch of times and it's gone so I'll make it 2 that should do it um, now that you have a proper size for your pencil you want to go to the layer uh, box here and make sure the background layer is selected um, now you basically want to um, draw over the lines and if you did it well you don't see anything changing just gonna trace the visor here now go back to the layer thing and may press the eye thing on the sketch layer and that makes it invisible and look at that, we have the visor. Now, if you want the um, sketch to be back again, just press that. Um, now, basically, keep on doing this for all the lines. You know, the hair and stuff. Um, this may, might take a while. You know, be patient. Um, I'm doing a crappy job here, I know. It's hard just, you know, holding a camera and shit. Drawing it once. So, yeah. Um, just keep on doing that. Uh, and you should be fine. Alright. No, that looks like shit, but I'm not doing my best at all at this. Um, so, basically, once you did that, um, let's say you call it the entire thing, or trace it, I mean. You want to, you know, pick some colors. Uh, just want to go uh, to a site like Bulbapedia, for example. 
like I'm using uh, or I'm making Getsis, so that's Pokemon related. So just forget this. You can also do this in Google Images, of course. And there's the artwork. Just go ahead and save it. Um, now you want to uh, open as layers again and look for the artwork. Now, you want to make sure for this uh, the artwork layer is selected and look for it. Uh, there it is. Now you want to get this tool over here and basically pick out a color like I'm going for his hair color now. Um, then once again select the background layer and just use the bucket tool and there we go. Now um, that's basically it. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, you just got to do it a couple of times. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just ask. You know. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so I hope I could help you out a little.